YouTube, Rocky here again. Right, as promised, the much delayed install video. Now, I've had a couple of comments about people talking about what was in the box, and I got this. So, I got also the accelerator ACA Tune. Basically, if you have Workbench 3 or Kickstart 3, I should say, not 3.1, you need the software to make the machine recognize how much RAM this thing has. Because if you put it in and you don't install and run this, it comes up as 500 odd mega RAM, which is useless. So if you didn't get this reinstall and you don't have a PCIMC transfer card or something like that, you're fucked basically because you need this if you've got Workbench 3. Uh, next I've got two bits of paper. The first one is blah blah blah, how to install it. Uh, this talks about the ACA tune here and you're needing basically Kickstart version 3, blah 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 blah. The install guide is, yeah, saying that you need to remove small bits of plastic is a lie. You need to remove lots of plastic. This one, timing correction. Apparently on certain models of the 1200, to make this thing run great, you need to actually remove a couple of the onboard LEDs, uh, resistors. Uh, luckily I didn't, my motherboard revision is fine. So let's move this BB out of the way. Right. And in the blue Peter sense, here's one I prepared earlier. Right. So I don't know if you can see this. Right, move the camera. Right, this section here I've had to chop out. This section up a wee bit here I've had to chop out. Also, got a couple of choices because this part of the RF heat shield fouls in it big style. This part of the heat shield is damn tight against it. In fact, when I first installed it, I took the heat shield off and then bent the heat shield around it. And then I you know, cut off the bits of plastic down here with like a rotary, well, a pliers and a bit of rotary cutting tool. Now it is a tight fit, really tight, so it goes this way. Right. Even with the plastic milled off, it's not exactly, um, shall we say, loose fitting, so this might take me some time. I'm not wanting to force a little bugger. Make sure it's actually lining up with the. Of course. There we go, that's it. And it's it's a tight fit. There you go, as you can see it there. I mean, look how much. Look how tight that is there. That is really tight. It's even up here against that, that is right up against it. So that's it installed. So next part, I'll load up the old, put the machine back together and I'll show you what it looks like on the workbench. And we're back. Right. Uh, first thing you notice is um, the output now displays better on my big LCD TV. That's because I bought a cable. Um, basically, the one I was using before was coming from the odd, it was coming from the composite output. So, you know, yellow for composite. And the two other colours for left and right audio. What I've done is I bought a cable, they're available in the Amiga kit. Basically, it takes the video from the video port on the back of the Amiga, but you know, the one that monitor plug into, and the audio from the left and right audio. And it looks a hundred times better. It looks brilliant, actually. So, we've got a nice big screen here. So, there's the ACA tune discs. I've shoved it into drive two here. Um, on it, you basically get install, ACA tune. And when it first loads up the user guides here, just double click them up and it just loads up a multi view there. And we get, you know, instructions, you've got description here, installation, blah blah blah. And um, I don't know how you'll be able to see this, but I've upped the screen as as well. So I've now got 1.7 graphics mem and 65 of other mem, which is awesome. Now, um, some other people said I might have had to format the hard drive and stuff. Basically, I haven't. I've got the card installed. My PMCIA, obviously the Amiga thing up here, that's my PMCIA my transfer kit from the Amiga. I actually downloaded a slightly newer version of ACA tune that's available. It doesn't make any difference. Uh, second drive's installed because that's in the second drive. Now all my workbench load games work great, so... Just pick a random game here. Because they all load quick as... quick as. So here we go. Yes, here we go. Robinson's Requiem. I have no idea what it is, so. Well, it's a Cimarillo scheme. Uh, 
it's loading up the unregistered version of WHD load. I was having a problem when none of the games would load after installed in Accelerator. Turns out the WHD load that was installed had a dodgy pirate key on it, so I've deleted the key. I've ordered a genuine one for myself from the guy in Germany, because it's worth every damn penny. So once that arrives I'll have a nice registered version to myself. Once it loads. Robinson's Requiem, this is WHD load, well, 16.9. The old Cimarillus. I'm going to have to adjust the camera a bit here, but I might have to turn the volume away. I'm going to show what kind of game it is. One of the beauty with WHD load is basically you can just quit back to menu any point. So, English. Please wait while loading. <laughs> this is funny because it goes like a rocket speed now. Oh. What have we here? Alright, yeah, 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 some space crashes. Bobby, choo choo choo. Don't try joystick button. Cool. Oh, this could be one of those games that has a fantastic intro and then an absolute. Yes, that's a pterodactyl. Please wait while loading. Thank you. Not. Robinson Requiem. Fire up that time. Sort of. <laughs> Don't tell me this be the first game that I can't get to work with it to be. Oh, here we go. Sake. Now, never mind, this is running quick. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, it's a point and click. Great. Anywho, that's the game loaded. Uh, oh, th it's not always F10, but usually, there you go. Right back to the screen there. So, let's see Robinson Requiem. So, let's try something that normally doesn't work on a 1200. One of my games I was playing alone with a friend of mine. Looking for Lotus! Oh, wrong way. Probably went right past it. Lotus 2 has everybody's a lovely icon there. Lotus 2 does not load really well at all on an Amiga 1200 normally. This is an absolutely fantastic piece of kit to be load. Buy it basically. This awesome sound in a minute. There we go, plus, 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 help to quit. Players one, start. Box, set, go. And if I press help, which is to the old desktop. How cool is that? Right guys, uh, thanks for watching. Lord, I'll be putting more videos up soon of me messing around with this great piece of software on my 1200 down there boy. Actual 1200 you can see there. The old TV. Right, follow me on Twitter if you want. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye bye.